Nigga, General ain't quit drinking. We know that for fucking sure. How do we know that? What you just read to me is a drunkard's question. What is state of affairs in camp with regards to the horse? Seems to me whatever the state of affairs about the horse is in the camp, it's a drunkard's decision bringing the cocksucker back. That's on Hostetler, according to the little nigga general, if you can understand what you fucking read. Hostetler means to bring the horse back. Hostetler. You're right, Jane, I'm a fucking moron, as usual. What I should be doing, being as you have no experience, is helping you compose a telegraph back to little nigga general's request it. Come over here and save yourself the cost of a wire. Oh, fuck. What are you looking at? You think just because I happen to got a peppermint, it's yours by right? Always possible I'm having a nightmare. Yeah, sweet tooth cocksucker. That's right. That's right. You come to take my place away. Miss Stubbs, take a seat in that cell there until I square a place away for you. I have an offer to sell my place. How are you inclined to answer? Unless you don't yet know if I ain't out of place asking. I told a man to fuck himself. Tactics or true position? I don't know. I don't know, Mr. Rudder. Why don't I close off for a while? Oh, please don't. Nigger General and Hostel LeBron, that horse back to camp got away from him and trampled Sheriff's boy. Is that so? Well, the two of them was, I guess they didn't feel their lives were in enough danger. Well, people do strange things. Years at a time. Pick any part of my life, for example. It just don't sit well with me. To sell your place, you mean? But I can't think why I wouldn't. What's wrong with women for a reason? I tell you what I like. What I like is knowing these children are learning. I like that, and I like water in their garden, the days they ain't in session. The day that school opened, I remember saying to Sheriff Buck, what a nice thing it seemed, watching them little ones walk off to your place. That's what I goddamn like, imagining them walking into it. I ain't seen it yet, but I'd like to. And when he wanted to buy it, all I thought's, now I never will. Oh, God almighty. What is it, Miss Dodd? I wish once I could care for those little ones. Just once instead of doing what I did. Yeah, there. Mr. Langrish. I couldn't possibly consider your offer unless you would agree to building a new schoolhouse at your expense for Mrs. Bullock and the children. Well, who could say no to that? Well, what, well, what if Mrs. Bullock doesn't want a change of location? I can't think of why she'd prefer uh, teaching an ex-brothel over a place new built for schooling. People are strange about things, Charlie. If you like, I'll get her say so. And then I'll speak to Mr. Langrisha. <laughs> 